Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today I am here to share some empties with you. This past week I have a little bit of everything. Some vendors, some candles, some Scentsy. I think there's even some retail in here. So, there goes my iPad again. I'm going to start it with the candles. I have two from Hallmarks. Um, this first one is Chelsea Green Ivy. It's Fresh Fig Crisp Mint. Is it Vinca? Or Vinca? Vinca? Vinca Vines? And Jade Moss. Absolutely loved this candle. I either got this last year or the year before. Um, and I burned it multiple times last spring and summer. And then I finished it up um, this past week. Usually I don't put candles away, but this is such a, I want to say delicious, um, like herbaceous, green, fresh scent. Not clean. It's not like a laundry or like you just cleaned your house, but this is like spring has sprung and you have your windows open and you're getting all the outdoor like garden scents, I guess, coming into your home. I love this. Um, I would definitely repurchase it. I feel like I got this as like a trio or something, right? Let's, let's say it's from a collection. Who the heck knows? I don't know. But like I said, definitely enjoyed it. Definitely would repurchase. The other candle again, also from Hallmarks, is Be Mine, which I feel like this has been called other things in the past, perhaps, um, like marketed for Valentine's Day. Again, this was either last year or the year before. The notes on this are raspberry jam, warm shortbread, old-fashioned lemonade, and vanilla bean. Oh, this is a delicious, sweet um, raspberry jam cookie. Oh, and it was so good. Really liked this. Um, a little messy, that was totally on me because I think I didn't um, trim my wicks, which I usually do with Hallmarks. And I kind of let this one go. I think one day it was like burning for like six hours. So, Really fantastic, um, very pretty with the conversation hearts there, and a pretty good um, performer, so no complaints there. This guy right here, this Bath & Body Works Strawberry Snowflakes, uh, this one's kind of just giving me, it's giving me some issues. It's not burning evenly, but I just want to finish it up and be done with it. I'm not really even smelling it anymore. I feel like the first two times that I burned it, I did get that strawberry scent. Now it's, nothing's really there. Okay, what else do I have? Oh, I finished a hand soap from White Barn in Cozy Vanilla Almonds. This was in the boys' bathroom. It's vanilla orchid, sugared almond, and sweet musk. This was very pleasant. Yeah, not overly almondy. You definitely get the musk. I feel like more than anything in here. Um, and that vanilla. So another good one. Yes, I would repurchase it. I only buy the Bath & Body Works soaps when there is a good sale. And I'm pretty stocked up right now. And I don't think I've seen a sale recently. All right, I have a couple scent shot cups from Kay's, which if you guys know, she hasn't made these in a while, but I'm just using them up. So this is Brewed Jasmine. Um, this is not a favorite scent of mine, and I don't even know why. There's just something like in the back that you smell, like a back note that you smell on cold, but when I warm it, it like really comes out, and I don't think it's the jasmine, 
I don't know what that is, but I cut this in so many pieces and I just like over the last like year or so, honestly, have just warmed a little piece of it in my half bathroom. So this would not be a repurchase. Glad to have tried it. It is super, super strong. Um, Supernova. This is very pretty. I don't have the scent note, but I do like this again, same kind of thing, like cut this in so many pieces because it's powerful and I just warmed this um, only in my bathroom. I tend to do that when I only have like one scent shot of something. Um, so this was nice. I feel, is Supernova a Lush dupe? Yeah, this is pretty. This is a like clean um, scent and I really enjoyed that. And then pineapple sage. Yeah, okay, so I love sage and wax. Love it, I love it. Like the herbs, the thyme, the rosemary, all those things. I honestly, and I don't know why I keep denying, I don't like pineapple and wax. Yeah, I don't enjoy the scent of it. Um, so there is that. I have one. From Better Homes, Better Homes, Better Homes and Gardens. This is Kitchen Herb. I love this. I need to check and see if Walmart still has this. This is so amazing. This is like perfect, perfect all year round. Um, it is like if you have a little like herb garden, like on your windowsill in your kitchen. That's what this reminds me of. This is fragrant. It's I don't know. Perfect spring, summer, in my opinion. Like I said, I mean, any time of year, I love this in the kitchen and dining room. I had multiple bars of it. This may have been my last. It was great warming this while burning this candle. It's purple basil, fennel, wild lavender, sage leaf, mint, and chamomile. Oh, it's just so good. I need to check Walmart, see if they have it, and check to see if I have any more of it. Maybe I have another clam of it. Really love that. Highly recommend it if you can get your hands on it and you like those types of scents. It does really well. Oh, oh one more from Kay. This is Rustic Lodge. This I love. Oh, this is good. I don't have the scent note. I'm so bad about describing scents. This is like a wintry Christmas cozy scent. I had this, this is just when she had the little small scent shots. I did that in my um, front room. A sample from Kay in My Little Oven, which love the name of that. Zucchini bread, sugar cookies, and sweet vanilla cream. I am just so super picky with zucchini bread. And smelling this on cold, I thought it was going to lean like Frito feet type of a way. Nope, it did not. This was such a delicious, rich, yummy bakery. And I loved it so much. I think there were three or four pieces. I put two pieces in each of my bedroom warmers and I loved that. This was fantastic. I would definitely purchase this. From that smell good shop. This was Emerald City in her little squares. Emerald City is rosemary, eucalyptus, and patchouli. Loved, loved, love, loved this one. Perfect combination and balance of the rosemary, the eucalyptus, and the patchouli. Nothing, not, no one scent overtook. It was just a lovely trio of fragrance. Anywhere in my house, I warmed this. Um, I didn't do it in the bathrooms, but this was warmed in my kitchen, my living room, my dining room, the front room, um, bedrooms. So fantastic. And I would repurchase that again when I am purchasing it from that smell good shop. I'm trying to make a rule with myself that I'm not going to um, purchase it from vendors if I still have stuff. But we'll see if I can hold true to that, with a couple exceptions, obviously, from favorite, favorite, favorite vendors. 
Okay. I have some bags. So the Melt Stash, which is a new to me vendor. I think I had one or two things last week in my empties. And I'm continuing to um, warm her stuff. And I'm really, really, really enjoying. So I warmed Quiet Nights, which is eucalyptus spearmint type. And then pink sugar type. This was fantastic. Warmed this in my bedroom. Oh, just fantastic. Love, love, love spearmint um, in wax. The eucalyptus was really nice with it. And then the pink sugar kind of took... Um, like some of the medicinal maybe notes that you would get in a eucalyptus and spearmint. So I really enjoyed this. And Walk in the Park, which was Sugar Cookie Royale, Roasted Pine Cone, and Lemon. Oh my gosh. This was so good. So, so good. It was bakery. It was like outdoorsy because of the pine cone and then like clean with the lemon. Ugh, perfect, perfect, perfect. A good like medium um, performer. From Lavender and Speckles, I did strawberries and fresh baked bread. I think I had four, three, three pieces maybe. So I cut them in half and I had them in one, two, three, four, five, six warmers. Yeah, so it was three. So I cut these in half. Yummy strawberry pound cake, fresh, sweet strawberries blended with fresh baked bread. So this I have had, um, I received this in July of 2023. And I just kind of let it sit, let it sit. And then I believe I warmed some of it maybe in like September, October. And it was pretty light. So I warmed this in kitchen, living room, dining room. And when I first put it in, it kind of took a while for it to, like, come to life. And I would say I really noticed it about an hour and a half to two hours <clears throat> of this warming. I would get hit with the bread note. And then that sweet strawberry would be mixed in here as well. So, not, like, super strong, but this was really, really good. So, I like her strawberry pound cake and her fresh, sweet strawberries. This was good. It was just in a small bag. Finished up a loaf from Swanky in Palo Bougie Vanilla. I don't even know how long I've had this, um, but I had enough to go in two warmers and then I put some in my candle crock. Now, I like this. It's not a love, it's not a love. It's Palo Santo, um, like her angel, her angel food, cupcake, glazed donuts, and sugared marshmallows. So I've warmed this, I mean, many times because it was a loaf and I liked it. But like I said, I never really like loved it and I couldn't, I don't know why. It was just kind of like, oh, okay. Um, but having it sit longer and finishing it up, yes, I enjoyed it. However, my husband had been gone all day and he came home and did not like this at all. Um, he asked me to please either change out, change it out or shut the warmers off. So this did not appeal to him. So I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't order this again. I don't know what I was thinking getting loaves. This was like from, a, I want to say a pre-order maybe like two years ago. I honestly don't remember. But um, Swanky has so many beautiful uh, blends and stuff. Did, I would try something else um, when I order again. Okay, a couple from Rose Girls. This is Cinnamon Banana Donuts. Oh, I love this. Banana Bread, Dunkline Donut, and Snickerdoodle Cookies. So yummy. Mm. It makes my mouth water smelling the bag. Oh, that's good. I, I do like, I like her banana. Um, I've had this in October. This did fantastic. Um, I feel like Rose Girls, like you really don't have to let any of her stuff 
cure. But I mean, everybody is different. So really great. I would order that again um, if it was offered in the fall. And then white out. This is from Summer. Summer Michelle here on YouTube. This is white out. It's peppermint meringue, lavender marshmallow, the Bath and Body Works type, and then royal sugar cookies. Summer had sent me a beautiful package of um, peppermint heavy scents and blends. I don't think she's the biggest fan of the of the peppermint. Oh, this is so good. Um, this was a really good, like, bedroom scent for me. With the lavender and with that peppermint, just like both, just really beautiful, calming um, scents. Really, really enjoyed this. Thank you so much, Summer, for um, sharing that with me. I really, really enjoyed it. Again, I would pick that up. Absolutely. And then last but not least, I feel like that through more Second and Spruce. I just think I have a lot of like her stuff open. But anyway, from Second and Spruce, this is Honey Pear Cider Donut. Oh, such a love of mine. Spiced Honey Pears and Apple Cider Donut. Poured in September. This is in her, oh my gosh, so good. In her mini loaf. So I still had like, I think like half of this left. I'm so happy I have one more. Um, mini loaf of this. Um, so I warmed this kitchen, living room, dining room yesterday. I put it in like first thing in the morning. Oh, it's so good. And it's still in my warmers now. Not really smelling it, um, but it is um, late morning. So I'm going to change it out. I love this. I'm so happy I have more of it. Such a wonderful scent. If you love that honey pear cider, you need to get this when Erica offers that. Again, really fantastic. Okay, and then it looks like what I have left is Scentsy. So if you were only here to see my vendor in retail, thank you so very much. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to pop on over and watch my video. I'm going to go on to... Sensi. All right. I changed out a light bulb just today. Um, it is in that, oh gosh, like keep growing, like keep going, keep glowing, keep growing, which I feel like that was like an incentive warmer that I like earned or something last year or the year before, or could even be longer. And you guys, it's a beautiful, <clears throat> ceramic warmer. It gets really hot. It, ma it melts wax fabulously. Vendor wax, Scentsy wax, whatever. I want to say, it ha I think it came with this green bulb because I've never changed out the bulb and I usually am, I don't buy colored bulbs. I'm thinking it came with this one. I say I don't buy colored bulbs, but what did I do? When I changed it out this morning, I put one of the pink bulbs because I did buy a three pack of those. So that is what is in that warmer now. Um, yeah, so changed out the bulb. Used up a counter clean in Scarlet Sunflower, which is just such a beautiful, oh, I love this. Love this in the wax, love this in the counter clean. I'm not sure that I've had this before or if this was the first time I used it. Really like this. Um, and I think think I have another bottle of it. I use this on like here on the breakfast bar, uh, my counters, stovetop, uh, stainless steel appliances, cleans and it smells great. This I forgot to show like last week or maybe yeah last week because this was sitting on my counter and I just don't like putting it in my empties bucket. Um, a fragrance flower in the beautiful fluffy fleece. This goes on the back of the toilet in my half bath. Not my half bath. In my master bathroom because it, we have that like water closet where just the toilet is. Um, and there's no outlets or anything. So this is the only way that I fragrance that very small area. 
you guys, when I tell you this thing lasted forever, like forever, to the point that I had to like touch the flower a couple times. I mean, I could smell it, but I'm like, is this thing saturating the flower? It just lasted so long and it took a really long time for the oils. Um, I'm not complaining. I mean, talk about getting your money's worth. 100% did. And right now I have, I feel like I have cashmere and corduroy in there which that one seems to be going through a little bit faster, but this was a fantastic. Um, I have some fragrance flowers that are supposed to be delivered today. I'm so excited. Okay, and then the rest of what I have is bars. So cinnamon. I love this. I liked it on cold a lot. Oh, it's so good. This is, it was from Bring Back My Bar, January um, of this year. It's cinnamon, spices, and peppermint. Yes, it does sort of smell like dentine or big red, um, but not, like when it's warming, I wasn't thinking gum. I was just thinking a nice, like cinnamon, peppermint scent. Holy powerhouse. I put this in late yesterday afternoon, all throughout the upstairs, like the hallway, the loft, which is open. Um, and this thing was like coming into my bedroom with the door closed. Like it was <laughs> coming in under the door. Super strong. I like this. Um, I'm pretty sure I put this in my club, which I believe processed a couple days ago. I don't think it's shipped yet, but I put it in and I don't know, but I'll keep it in after this delivery just because I don't know how much I will warm this. I don't think I need a whole ton of them, um, but very strong. Really, really enjoyed this. Um, yeah, that was good. Uh, rum Raisin Cookie. This was a thing at back my bar uh, from January of 2023. It's baked cookie dough, rum, and <clears throat> clove and raisins. This definitely smells a hundred times better warming it than it does on cold. Again, just a cozy, scrumptious bakery. Um, I did not keep that in my club, but definitely enjoying the ones that I have. If I saw it again, 100% would be a repurchase um, for me. Frosted ginger cookie. Oh, I love this. I must have just been wanting all the cozy foodie scents. So this was from the recent Bring Back My Bar um, from January. Brown sugar, cookies, ginger, and vanilla. Oh, so good. So, so good. Strong, delicious kitchen, living room, dining room. Yummy. All day. This, um, I know it doesn't say lemon in the scent notes, you guys, but... It has to have it. And I feel like other people have said that too. I know I've talked about these cookies before. Again, I believe the brand name, I think it's Cars, C-A-R-R, apostrophe S. Um, it's like in a box. Um, and it's like a sandwich cookie that's like ginger sandwich. And then the filling is like a lemon cream. It's so good. I haven't seen them living out here in Arizona, but when I'm on the East Coast, like I found them in New York, I found them in Massachusetts, I um, buy them. And sometimes my mother-in-law will pick up a package of them and send them in a care package when she sends a care package to the kids and she always puts my name on that box of cookies. Oh, this so totally reminds me of those and they're delicious. Um, Frosted ginger cookie. That was a long explanation for that. I love it. In my club. Yummy. Ruby Nectarine because it's such a favorite of mine. I love, love, love this. I'm so sad that this is not in that darn spring summer catalog. Come on, Cincy. Not available. Nectarine, apple, and pear blossoms. This is just like, like blast your house with fruity, fruity, delicious goodness, like mouth-watering. I love this. I feel like I'm always in the mood for it. Mm, 
definitely in my club. I don't know what I was thinking by only putting one bar in. I think I really thought that this would come back. Love it. Would love to know if you have warmed Ruby Nectarine, what are your thoughts? In love. From the Willy Wonka collection, this is a fizzy lifting drink. I've warmed this upstairs, loft, hallway. Um, and I think I said this when I got this collection. This smells like the Brock, Brock's jelly beans when you open that, um, the plastic bag of them. Like, and Brock's to me are like a, you know, a cheap, like kind of generic jelly bean. They all, I don't know, not a fan. I like the Russell Stover jelly beans that have like the pectin. Mm. Anyway, I can't find those here either. But anyway, Brock's jelly beans is what these remind me of. However, warming this, you guys, I liked this way more than I thought I was going to. It's orange, grape soda, raspberry, and vanilla. I like this. It's a fun, fruity scent. My kids liked it. Um, and it was a darn good performer. I didn't put any of these in my club and I didn't repurchase. And that's the first one that I've warmed from the collection. I will be warming the next, the other two bars, um, you know, over the next couple weeks. Perfectly cute. This is from the Valentine's. Yes, Valentine's collection from this year. Um, golden pear, whipped vanilla, apricot blossom. So not available. This is just okay to me, and I love pear in wax. I don't know. It didn't really smell like pear to me. Um, apricot blossom, is that supposed to smell like the actual fruit to apricot, or is that more, I'm guessing that's more like floral leaning because this is definitely floral to me. This is just okay. Nothing that um, I would need any more of. Just okay. Candy Orchard. Candy Orchard. Scent of the month for uh, February maybe? I don't know, this is available. I do like this, very super light on cold. It's sponge sugar, raspberry, and warm vanilla. Definitely got that sugary raspberry. Yeah, it's a good, like a, like a filling for a, um, a cookie or <clears throat> like a raspberry frosting on a cake. Yeah, um, not a powerhouse in my home. I have, I think I have another bar of it and I think I ordered I think I got a couple more. Um, I'm gonna let them sit and see how it does. But I did like this, this was good. And then last but not least, good old pink cotton. I've loved this one for, I think since, since he first introduced it. I've had it in the laundry line. Um, what else? The laundry. Is this in a fragrance flower? If it was, I definitely had it. Um, this is good. It's clean cotton, fruity pink berries, and vanilla sugar. Powerhouse. Pretty. Fun. Like, fruity. I, yeah, this is good. Again, I don't have this in my club. I believe I have one more bar. I tend to warm this. Um bathrooms and like the laundry room and I put like one cube of this in my laundry room I just have a like small 15 watt Scentsy warmer in there days days um not where it's like coming out of the laundry room like on day two or three but when I go into the laundry room you get hit with the yummy burst that is pink cotton so that's really really good um I hope this one comes back too because it is a good one. So that is everything. That is all the wax candles and non-wax scent related items that I have gone through this past week. I hope that you are all having a good week. It's almost Friday. Um, I will probably be back with a Scentsy haul. I, I 
placed an order for some like local customers. Um, I ordered things as well. <laughs> so the 10 new spring summer scents, which I'm just late to the game on ordering those, but I wanted to give them a try. I think I ordered all 10 and some other things thrown in there. So I will film that as soon as I can. Haven't even opened the box. Um, yeah, so that's everything. Take care, stay well, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.